So how are you, Danny? Morning, Gare. How are nice, you? Nice to see you, dude. You too. And, and congratulations on what you and Shout are doing here for healthcare workers. So I, I explained to everybody, you, along with SMD Technologies, have got these deals from factories where there are no middlemen who are profiteering, and you're able to help healthcare workers get their masks. Exactly. Uh, because we know there was a shortage. Uh, what brought this about, and how did you how did you see a gap to get involved and make a difference? Um, yeah, it kind of fell into our lap, I guess, because SMD were you know commercially selling masks, mm-hmm. and I'm very close to their managing director. And we just had a, a chat one evening, and I was said, you know, how's business going? And he said, well, he's one of the few businesses as an essential service uh, that's operating and actually doing well by supplying masks commercially. And the more we spoke about it, the more he got a sense of wanting to try and give give back, uh, you know, from from the opportunity that fell in his lap because he never sold masks before, but he found himself selling them. And I said, well, why don't we do something at Shout where you make zero margin and we give, you know, the masks you're bringing in from around the world to healthcare workers at cost. So we let the public donate. Uh, the mm-hmm. public's money can go really much further than going to Discam or clicks and buying masks for doctors because, you know, there's, there's margin on, on, on those masks. He right. agreed. Uh, we found our friends at uh, Network BBDO who shouts a creative agency. And in 24 hours, they put this most incredible website together, calls to action, and we were up and running. It's amazing. Um, yeah. Have you have you seen a nice response from people since you've launched? You've obviously been talking in, in, in various media outlets and you've you've put out your own press releases about this. Are people coming to the party? Yeah, so we raised, uh, I mean, we, we literally from a blank sheet of paper and no one knowing about this, we raised about 450,000 Rand in 24 hours. Uh, from, Incredible. Yeah, you know, from the public and, uh, and now corporate South Africa, which I think we'll see our biggest donations um, have started, you know, coming in. So we got a donation from cars.co.za for 250,000 Rand, Restonic nice. mattresses, 50,000 Rand. So it's like starting now. Um, but doing things like this, I think, will further amplify the, you know, the campaign. All right. Um, how can we get involved? Uh, whether we're small individual, you know, yeah. people in society wanting to make a difference, or you're a big company, maybe you're the CEO or you're the marketing director, and you 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 don't have you know now because of events being cancelled and activations, you've got some budget that's been released. You can maybe put some of this to good use. How do we get involved? Yeah. So I mean, look, it's a it's a great question. I think both corporate and you know sort of active. Private citizen alike can visit the same URL. It's shout for masks with the number four M A S K S masks dot C O dot Z A. And we've got different packages. We've got a package of seven masks for a hundred rand, which comprises of three. Uh, we call them like medical grade masks. Things like N 95s FFP twos that the doctors and nurses should be wearing. Uh, and then surgical three-ply tissue masks that you and I, uh, I suppose, could wear. That's a hundred bucks pack of seven. If you go look at prices in the market, you'll see that for a seven pack of masks, you know that value is kind of unheard of. That's the cost price benefit uh, from SMD. And on that website, you can buy either a pack for a hundred rand, or if you're a corporate, you can buy a silver, gold, and platinum package ranging from. I think it's 25 to 250,000 Rand. You get a wow. Section 18A uh, certificate back, so you can get the tax benefit of your donation. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can buy as many packs as you want. I think you can donate 500 Rand. We've seen people donating 1,000 Rand. Um, and those masks will go directly to, you know, flattening the curve, going to the doctors that need them. And the interesting thing I've learned about these masks, you know, <laughs> Everyone's become a medical expert over the past uh, two yeah. weeks. Uh, yeah, much to my parents' disappointment, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish parents. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, these, these masks do not exist forever. You know, they have a lifespan. So, like, your typical surgical mask has a four-hour lifespan and your mm. medical-grade mask has about a 72-hour lifespan. So, these doctors not having enough supply 
uh, in hospitals treating COVID-19 patients actually really puts them at risk because um, they need to keep recycling these masks, you know, getting new ones on them. So there's an enormous demand and a huge undersupply. Yeah, I think it's so good that you're doing this and, and congratulations to, to all of you. Where are you under lockdown? Are you in Joburg? I'm in Joburg, yeah. I'm at home with the family. Um, How's everybody? Yeah, you know, it's been, it's, you know, it's been challenging, but I'm not going to complain about my, uh, my northern suburban privilege. You know? <laughs> there's, uh, there's, there's people far worse off than I am. I'm just trying to channel my energy into you know, doing things like this. Are you in your study or your wine cellar or in your or bowling in, alley or in your cinema? <laughs> which I'm, in my, you? I'm in my study makeshift okay. uh, gym, which uh, happened ah. the day before uh, lockdown began when I heard, you know, we weren't running on the roads anymore. So, yeah. Uh, are, are you and your, have you and your wife had a fight yet during lockdown? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And, 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 Without and missing a beat, he was honest about that. <laughs> what, what is now? I always like to speak to him, and maybe we must get him in for um, Living in Lockdown. It's a new series we're doing at the moment. But I love your father's take on everything because he's, first of all, he's one of the most saintly people I've ever met in my life. He's just full of good and positivity. How's he interpreting? this madness around COVID-19, your dad, what's his, what's his wisdom? Share it with us. <laughs> my dad, yeah, my dad is an insanely positive person, regardless of what's happening in any of our lives or the world. So I think I get kind of my sense of optimism uh, f from him, certainly. Uh, you know, he's, yeah, he's, al he's always upbeat. And I think one of the, the things that I'm figuring out about your state of mind during this time is that if you watch too much of the news, if you yeah. get bogged down in all of the these graphs, you know, all of us also become graph reading experts. Oh, uh, yeah. Suddenly everyone's a statistician as well. A statistician. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You, you know, you can freak out. And I think the nice thing about, uh, you know, my dad and especially both of my parents is that when we speak to them or they're speaking to the kids, whether it's on Skype or Zoom or whatever, it's a lot of happiness, a lot of optimism and just trying not to get, you know, bogged down by the doom and gloom, uh, the financial stress everyone's, you know, under the country stress uh, because it just affects your morale. You know, I think you mm. need a high morale to get through these days and these right. days, you know, are going to get tougher. Like I think week one was kind of like honeymoon period. Everyone's at home, you know, like enjoying the little mini holiday. But as the weeks roll on and if lockdown's extended, I think our state of mind is, uh, is going to be important. So my dad helps me stay positive. Yeah, he's, <clears throat> he's terrific, Gavin Koppel. We must talk to him, Sia. He's, he's sure, usually I'll the kind of that. person to, to no, uplift, he would love to be, uplift uh, the rest of us. <laughs> He would love to speak to you. All speak. right. And are you are you conne are you connected there? Are you are you speaking to a lot of people doing a lot of Skype meetings and so on? Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's it's just been unbe it's un been unbelievable the way the world uh, firstly changed and then adapted very very quickly. You know, I never did many Skype meetings, never interacted, did yeah. interviews with the media via Skype now. You know, I'm on TV with this thing, the news, everyone's like, it's uh, it's just adapted, which I think is probably a good thing, uh, especially for this campaign that we can still promote and get the message out. Yeah. Well, well done. And congrats to, to Shout for making a difference. You, you guys are always at the forefront of kind of trying to do something positive for the country. And I, I think many of us appreciate that. So thanks, Dan. Nice to see thanks, you. Thanks, Gareth. Thanks, cool. Sia. Thanks and for keep, having me. Keep healthy and keep safe.